Y'all are not about to sit here and get me on camera rolling my eyes in the back of the head. Not that type of video. What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five different things that all Lockers must have. So stick around. All right, y'all, let's not even waste any time. I want to go ahead and get into these items. I have some new ones here for y'all, and I just feel like I'm being selfish if I don't share the treasures and the nuggets that I come across as a locker. And so I wanna share these things with you as well. And so here we go. One thing that all lockers need to have, regardless of what type of locks you have, micro locks, traditional locks, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you have a silk bonnet or a satin bonnet. This one that I have is orange. I also have a pink one. I sleep in them at night, so I couldn't care less what color they are. They're whatever color they are at the store that I get them from. So if I can't find a black one or a red or blue or whatever, then I get whatever color they have. So I got this off of Amazon. All the links for the things that I'm sharing today will be down in the description box below. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so let's just go ahead and get that out there. Although, I am more than happy to take a bag from any of these companies if you do want to sponsor me in the future. The good thing about silk or satin bonnets when you put them on, regardless of whether it's for a nap or just to lay down or to go to sleep at night, it protects your hair from the elements, it protects your hair from getting lint and other things in it. It's super soft. It doesn't bunch your locks up or make it uncomfortable to sleep. It just goes on really easily. You just pop that bad boy on, tuck your locks in, and you keep it moving. Boom. Now this particular one has a pretty thin headband or whatever you would call that, so I like that. The pink one that I have has a really thick headband and I'm not too fond of that one. It just, I don't like, stuff being on my forehead I feel like it causes me to have more breakouts and stuff so whatever works best for you you get one that has a thick band or a thin band whatever works best for you moving on to the second item that I feel like all lockers should have scrunchies now these scrunchies are satin so get you some silk or some satin scrunchies what's great about these is I don't think that it's only loose naturals who are concerned about making sure that their hair is not getting snagged and that they are trying to be as gentle as possible with their hair. When you are locked, you also want to be gentle with your hair and make sure that you are not snagging it. So instead of just having a regular elastic band when you're going to section your hair off or put your hair in up or whatever, get yourself some of these scrunchies because I promise you they slide out super easy. They're not snagging on your hair they pull right out it's just they're super soft uh, you can wash them these that I got they come I like it just because they come in these like skin tone colors and so they've got ones from black to super light to a medium brown so I, I just I thought they were cool I like it I think that it's important to have these because man y'all stay letting me talk on camera and looking a mess but yeah it's nice to just make sure that you are using stuff on your locks that's not going to harm them where you're able to section it off or band them however you want to do and then when you want to take it off you can simply slide it out and it's not pulling your hair you don't have your hair wrapped around the elastic band that's pulling it off or anything like that so these are a winner number three in my box I don't even know what to call it honestly but it's like a, a a vial or a perfume whatever but I use it for hair oil and it's got this nice little roller on the end of it Ooh, there we go and what I like about this is that for people like me who have very sensitive scalps or just for people who don't want to put a lot of oil on I know you can take a bottle of oil that has the applicator nozzle and go through but not everybody wants a lot of oil, and with those, it's kind of hard to regulate how much oil you are putting onto your scalp. So with this, you can regulate the amount of oil that you put on a lot easier, and you can still get the same result by being able to part your hair in different places and go in and rub the oil in as you see fit. 
and you can pop this top off so you can put this is my DIY homemade oil that's in here you can pop in any hair oil that you want to and it's travel size so you can take it on a plane if you need to take hair oil with you wherever you're going so it's just it's compact it's great they come in I think mine was like a pack of 30 or something so it's just a nice little accessory to have that you can take with you wherever you go and pick up quickly so you don't have to take a huge bottle of oil and you can regulate the amount of oil that you're putting on your scalp the next item that is in my box of fun is this Carol's daughter black vanilla sorry also extra bright let me see if I turn it. there we go Carol's daughter black vanilla moisture and shine system this is a hydrating leave-in conditioner for dry dull and brittle hair and there are no man it's so bright it's hard to see no silicones parabens mineral oil or artificial colors and it's got aloe vitamin b5 and soy protein um, as you can see I don't know if you can see or not but <laughs> this one's almost gone and it is worn I've got another full bottle upstairs but this stuff right here I don't put a lot of stuff into my locks but I do use this because it just smells good I don't even know how to describe it but if you like a scent it's good for both men and women because it's a soft enough smell for women that you know it doesn't smell like cologne it doesn't smell too floral so men don't have to worry about being like oh that's too soft they don't smell you know manly enough I don't know it smells really good do yourself a favor get you some of this check it out I don't know how much of it is actually a hydrating leave-in conditioner because I honestly don't use it as a leave-in conditioner in the sense of trying to get results from that I solely use it for the smell just because it smells good and when you walk by people people can smell your hair it's just got this like buttery vanilla smell to it that just smells magnificent I feel like I smell like royalty when I'm wearing this and I've had several people give me compliments telling me that my locks smell wonderful both skin folk and also white folks have told me and other races have told me how amazing my hair smells when I'm wearing this so again get you some of that Carol's daughter black vanilla yes there we go leave-in conditioner for the scent you're welcome bless your life all right and the number five thing that I have in my box it's actually two in one I've showed this before on my channel in a previous video but I'm going to show you again today is a simple massage brush now the reason that it's two in one is because I've shown this particular one before but I've got two options for you for those that are trying to save the coin and not spend too much you might want to get this one it's under five dollars on Amazon but I just recently purchased a new one that is motorized and this thing is the truth this one I think was around thirty dollars and yes it is a lot more expensive but y'all when they say you pay for you get what you pay for I'm telling you this does the trick and it you know is sufficient for but you got to do all the work yourself and for someone like me who will do scalp massages before bed at night and sometimes I'm just lazy and I'm like I don't feel like doing it but I'm trying to regrow hair in the crown of my head so I need to be doing it daily this just solves it it's simple it feels like an actual person is massaging your scalp for you it's got three or four different settings slow fast the rotation style but I'm telling you when I'm telling you this is the truth let me show y'all when I tell you this is the truth watch this y'all see it moving my head and I'm not moving this that's all is doing this all itself you see my scalp moving I'm telling you it feels like someone's fingers are in my head Masa like look look at it moving my scalp around and if you're wondering does it get caught in your roots does it get snatched in your locks not at all look at this I'm all the way in there and it pulls right out no problem you see it moving my scalp around no problems if I want to come over here get a little scalp action switch up the speed 
And I will literally do this all around my head. It feels so good. Y'all are not about to sit here and get me on camera rolling my eyes in the back of the head. Not that type of video, but no, for real. I wouldn't recommend something if I didn't use it myself and if I didn't wholeheartedly believe in it and want to share this stuff with you. So again, not sponsored by any of these companies, but I just wanted to share those nuggets with you. I hope that you find some of them helpful. Leave comments in the comment section to let me know if you have any of these items or let me know if there's any of them that you're interested in trying out after seeing this video. I would like to know. Hit that subscribe button so that you can join the flock and also hit the like button so that I know what type of content you all are enjoying. And while you're here, make sure to stick around and check out one of these other videos that have popped up on the screen.